Hey guys, it's me, it's Casey, and welcome to the Alice in Wonderland update in Disney Magic Kingdoms. This is a limited time event available for three weeks, so it's not a lot of time, but the great thing about it is it's not too long, it's not too short. I always like to start with this cool statue of Walt Disney and Mickey, but we gotta figure out who starts this quest, because as you can see on the side, I just got no quest, man. So who starts this? I'm going to assume probably Mickey, but you never know. Looks like we have to do a bit of clearing to start, I guess. Oh, we'll just scroll around for a little bit till we find the exclamation mark. Perhaps Mickey is a character. Or Goofy. Probably Mickey. Say, is it just me or is everything feeling a little topsy-turvy today? I know it's that spooky time of year again, so maybe I should expect things to be a little creepy. But this is different. <laughs> I'd better get to the bottom of this. Or maybe to the top of this. Ha ha! Is that making a lookout from the fun wheel? We got some bread. And we got a 60 second quest. And I also have 66 of the event currency at the top. That's pretty much the biggie of any update in this game that's at least limited time. Well, no matter what else is happening around here, it's still that spooky time of year. And boy oh boy do I still love dressing up for it. Get Mickey's Halloween costumes. This was available last year in the, I think it would have been the very first Halloween update. Ah, still comfortable. Gosh, it's nice to know that this thing still fits. I know I wear this outfit every year, but if you think about it, what could be spookier than that? Wearing pants when you're an animal? <laughs> you could have traveled back in time to a year ago and not even have known it. Ha ha! <sighs> or rodent, I guess I should say. Gosh, I was right. There is something new wandering around the kingdom. I should go take a closer look. I gotta make sure everyone is safe after all. Wacky lunch chests. The kingdom is infested with wacky lunch chests. Collect tokens and select a hero to defeat the wacky lunch chests. Collect teacup tokens. And then the wacky lunch chests return until the event ends. But what's the point of the teacup tokens? I'm assuming for the characters. Send a character to remove a wacky lunch chest. One second. We got another quest. And also, check it out. That's pretty cool, huh? That's like the event area. And if you go over here, they also added something to the uh, chest dyer cat. At such an uncanny time of year, it is only natural for the kingdom to go a little topsy-turvy. Welcome the Mad Hatter. So that's going to be the very first character we have to go for in this update. Another Mickey quest, huh? I may not know what those new creatures are, but I still should try to lure them out of the kingdom just in case. After everything that happened last year, well, they might not be safe after all. Hmm, maybe they like candy. Lure the lunch chest with candy. And looks like that's the last quest for Mickey. And all I got is the, uh, the background, the pink backgrounds. Keep in mind, you really do need to do these in order to progress in the update. So if you don't see a pink background, don't worry about it. But if you do, make sure you do it. So first up, let's check out this wacky chest. Hello! I just have to be able to- oh, we make springy noises. It's springy! Sorry. When your channel is a lot of The Simpsons tapped out, you tend to quote the show a little too much. Send the character to remove a wacky chest. So we've got to get two keys and two, I guess, locks that look like hearts. And these are the characters that can get those. They're Goofy and the Cowgirl and a bronze chest. And for this thing, Mickey and the Tea Hat, which is from the Mad Hatter. We've also got to send Mickey to lure the lunch chest with candy. Equip Mickey Spooky Costume. Okay, I guess I could do that right away. See you real soon. 
Yep. That was a six hour quest. So I guess I should do that because I'm going to have to, as I said before, I'm going to have to do this. So I might as well just get it out of the way. There we go. Plus, you can send other characters other than Mickey anyways, like Goofy, the White Rabbit, which I'm assuming is probably premium, Chest Dire Cat, and the list goes on and on. Hey, they're also animated as well. But on to the Mad Hatter. There they are. There's Alice, Mad Hatter, the March something, I can't remember their name. March Hare? And the White Rabbit. What do we need though? Looks like it's going to be pretty easy to start. We've got to get the teacup, and of course you've got to get it from the Wacky Lunch Jets. Tasty Saucer, I don't know what makes it tasty. Mickey, and Woody is done as well. Ned is also done. Speaking of the Simpsons. And Mad Hatter Ear Hatch, Bo Peep, you, and Goofy. So it looks like this is going to be really easy enough to get. Well, let's see if Woody starts it off on the right foot. Woody saves the day. Again. Thank you, Woody. I appreciate it. And these are all the different characters that are available at least to start. I'm a little confused about something though. They said in the live stream you'd be able to buy both of the premium characters right away. The White Rabbit is 200, but I'm pretty sure Chest Dire Cat is the premium character as well, but it's available in four and a half days. So I'm not really sure what that's about. But this is the event goal, so you gotta start from the left, and you gotta keep scrolling all the way to the end. But after we get the Mad Hatter, we then have to place the Golden Afternoon. March Hare, so I was correct. Build the White Rabbit's house. Welcome the Caterpillar. Tweedle's Wacky Fairway. Was that actually a thing in the movie? I don't remember. I mean, I remember Tweedledee and Tweedledum, I believe. There's Alice. The Queen of Hearts Trial. Stop the Queen of Trial Hearts for good and welcome the Queen of Hearts. Oh, that's great. We have also got deals, wonderful deals. $5.49, which is Canadian, by the way. 50% off gets you the White Rabbit and an unbirthday hat stand. That seems like a pretty decent deal, I think. There's also the Parade Bundle, which comes with the Alice in Wonderland float. Really cool looking as well, 1500 of the currency. 279 that's a really good deal. And let visitors take a break on and pet this decoration. For 10 gems, I can get a cool looking bench. And also we got the leaderboards. The leaderboards will be very, very important moving forward for probably event currency and other things as well. So try to keep up with it if you can. Chances are the reward, even if you place lower, is still going to really help you moving forward. We've also got the chests. I'm really curious to see what's going to drop from these. Now from the, the bronze one, we have got the key and the little lock thingy, and that appears to be it. Silver drops. Nothing right now. Oh, we got the little, what is this? Jack o' lamp post, but I'm pretty sure those have been available for a while. The gold. Uh, looks like nothing as well. And more than likely platinum won't either. Oh, we got the little thing. We got this. Oh, that's Minnie's tea table. Okay, that, that really threw me off. I thought it was my own separate little Alice in Wonderland table, but it's not. So unfortunately, there's not much going on in terms of the chest just yet. But usually as these particular limited time updates go on, eh, they tend to add some stuff in here and there. Before I wrap this up though, I think that I am going to buy the premium character, the White Rabbit. And they're available for 200 gems, or they're available with the unbirthday hat stand, which is part of the bundle there, $5.49. That is Canadian, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that. Depending on where you live, it may be less or more. 200 gems though, the White Rabbit. Let's do this. You know it. Oh, hello. You're frozen. Come back. Hello? Well, it's going to be tough to take a screenshot of that one. 
Hello, white rabbits. There they are. Zooming in nice and close. Oh boy, I am so late. Marianne! Oh, Marianne! Where is that girl? I told her to help me wind my new watch, but she's late. And now I'm late too. Marianne! Oh, my poor, poor unwound watch. Oh, my fur and whiskers. If I don't wind it myself, then no one will. Send the white rabbit to tune up his watch. In terms of that particular quest, though, we got tune up my watch, checking the time, which I will be doing in a second. Mad fun. Goodbye, I'm late. Searching for Marianne. Oh me, oh my. Trying to slow down. No time to say hello. Running by. Hopping about. And finally, I'm late. So I really got to start trying to get these items here in order to clear those wacky chests for the teacups or the teacup tokens for the Mad Hatter and probably everybody else. Oh, I'm so late. Oh, I'm so late. I like how he bounces. Oh, he's actually pretty fast. Oh, I'm late again. Which way are you going? You're going down now? Okay, let's just keep following you. See if you make it out of this place alive. Speaking of being alive, there is that thing. You're alive than ever. So that's pretty much it for now. A reminder to make sure you do the pink quests on the side. Make sure you're following the event goals as well. And other than that, it seems like it's going to be a really fun update. I'm really excited for Alice in Wonderland. It's been a while since I've seen the movie, but I do recognize and remember the characters anyway, so that's a start. And of course, a reminder that I will be gone next week, so I won't be able to get out the particular character videos for you as fast as I would like. But what I will do is when I get back the following week, I'll do a bit of a follow-up video on whatever character I have unlocked, and we'll take it from there. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. My name is Casey, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.